The complex convoluted draw for the UEFA Champions League is now over and today we're looking at the four Spanish teams in the competition, analyzing how each of their fixtures might play out while also dropping some interesting facts along the way. Here's what the fixtures look like for each La Liga team. Starting off with the giants and defending champions Real Madrid, their group is a mixture of classic European fixtures and some tricky matches. They have drawn Dortmund, Liverpool, Milan, Atalanta, Salzburg, Lille, Stuttgart and Brest. First up, Dortmund will be visiting the Bernabeu in a rematch of last year's UEFA Champions League final. It's always electric when these two teams meet and with the current form of both the teams, it will certainly be an interesting fixture. Next, it's away at Anfield to Liverpool and we all know the history between these two. In fact, the last time Madrid was at Anfield, they won 5-2. This is also a rematch of Madrid's 2022 Champions League final, so they'll be facing both of the teams that they defeated in their last two Champions League finals. And then there's Milan at home a proper Champions League classic. A matchup between the two most decorated Champions League teams in the history of the competition with Real Madrid winning 15 trophies and Milan winning 7. Next up, away to Europa League winners Atalanta in a rematch of this year's UEFA Super Cup. This group is shaping up to be intense as we can see that Madrid are facing former opponents that they have beaten in the past in Europe. So basically they'll be facing 3 out of the 4 opponents that they beat in their last 4 European finals. And Atalanta we cannot write them out because we've seen them upset big teams before. I mean they were the only team last season to beat Bayer Leverkusen. So don't be surprised if Atalanta's home advantage plays in their favor. Then Salzburg and Lille will be fighting for those vital points but Madrid should have enough quality to beat both of these teams. Lille in fact has a terrible record against Spanish teams. They've only won 3 out of the 15 matches they've played against Spanish opponents. And I'm not expecting that to change. Then Stuttgart. Stuttgart was one of the hottest teams in Bundesliga last season alongside Bayern Leverkusen and they miraculously finished second in the Bundesliga above Bayern Munich. So yeah, they must. Lastly, they start Brestois or Brest. We all love Brest. Next, let's talk about Barcelona. They've got a group that isn't as challenging as Real Madrid, but still promises some great encounters. A group featuring Bayern Munich, Dortmund, Atalanta, Benfica, Young Boys, Cervena Suesta, Brest, and Monaco awaits the Blaugrana. Bayern Munich at Camp Nou, what a fixture. Yes, we're all thinking the same thing. The A2 and how Bayern has absolutely dominated Barcelona in all their recent fixtures. But let's also look at Bayern this time. A side that went trophyless for the first time in nearly 10 years. They're also under a new inexperienced manager in Vincent Company, so it'll certainly be an interesting matchup. Barcelona will be looking for revenge, especially with Hansi Flick now on their side managing them after he orchestrated the worst defeat in Barcelona's modern history. Do you think Barca will get its revenge this time? Let me know in the comments. Then, traveling to Dortmund will not be an easy task either because their fans always create an intimidating atmosphere. The last time these two teams met was back in the group stages in 2019. Yeah, remember the group stages? Yeah. That's a long time ago, huh? And in that group stage, Barcelona won against Borussia Dortmund and drew another match. Barcelona, just like Real Madrid, will also face the Europa League champions Atalanta at their home. This is also expected to be an interesting encounter given how strong Atalanta has looked recently and how able to give the fight to all the big teams. Benfica away is another crucial match. Barcelona hasn't beaten Benfica in their last three matchups and so this will be a crucial game and Barcelona will need to get the three points in this encounter. They can't afford to slip up. Then there's Swiss champions Young Boys from Switzerland and the 1991 Champions League winners Cervena Zuesta. Both of the teams are capable of pulling off surprises but Barcelona will hope that they don't. Again, like Real Madrid, Barcelona will also face Brest. No more jokes. I'm mature. No more jokes. And lastly, there's Monaco, who defeated Barcelona 3-0 in the Joan Gambert Trophy this season, so Barcelona know that they cannot afford to take them lightly. Overall, it's a much more favorable draw than Real Madrid's, but it'll be interesting to see how far they can go along with the competition, especially considering how many injuries they have in the back. Atletico Madrid, who had one of the best transfer windows of this summer, is preparing to take on RB Leipzig, PSG, Bayer Leverkusen, Benfica, Lille, Salzburg, Bratislava, and Sparta Praha. So basically, Atleti will be facing five league champions from the 23-24 league season. 
Wow, Leipzig at home will be intense. They're a young team who can catch Atleti off guard, but the real test will be going to Paris to play PSG at their home stadium. Sure, Mbappe isn't at Paris, he's in fact in Madrid, but that doesn't make Luis Enrique's team any less threatening. Paris, on the other hand, has one of the toughest groups this season, so they'll be fighting tooth and nail to get all the points that they can, and so Atleti must expect a strong, strong performance from PSG against them. Xabi Alonso will return to Madrid, though at his rivals' ground, as he brings Bayern Leverkusen to the Metropolitano to face Atletico Madrid. Benfica, as always, is a tough opponent, especially at their home ground, so Atleti need to be wary and play their cards right. Lille. Lille can't catch a break, having to play both the Madrid sides, Real and Atleti, in their journey. Atletico will be hosting Lille in a home match that should be navigable, but they should be really worried about going to Salzburg away, as that is often a trap game, as many people call it, because the results are often unexpected. Salzburg are very strong at home, very unexpected, and Diego Simeone's men need to be careful. And finally, the champions of the Slovakian league, Bratislava, and the champions of the Czech league, Sparta Praha, might look like easier fixtures compared to the rest, but with Atletico style, expect tight, gritty matches that go down to the wire. And finally, Girona FC, the underdogs of the Spanish contingent. Honestly, I feel bad for them because their draw is brutal. Liverpool, PSG, Arsenal, Milan, Feyenoord, PSV Eindhoven, Bratislava, and Sturm Graz. First off, what a huge moment for Girona. Hosting Liverpool at their home ground in Montelivi will be the biggest night in their European history. But it doesn't stop there, as they'll be travelling to PSG, coming up against fellow Catalan manager Luis Enrique. Then, Spaniard Mikel Arteta returns home to Spain with his arsenal for yet another big night in Girona's history, followed by another high-profile fixture when they go to the San Siro to play against Milan. These are dream fixtures for the fans who just a few seasons ago were seeing their team in the Segunda División, and now look at them. But as much as the fans are gonna love it, it will be a real baptism by fire for the squad. It will be a real test and they need to be on their toes and give the best performance that they can. Apart from these four high-profile fixtures, there's also Feyenoord and PSV Eindhoven, who are powerhouse teams from the Netherlands who finished first and second in the Eredivisie last season. So Girona will have to bring their A game to get points from these fixtures. Bratislava and Sturm Graz might give them a breather, but matches like these in the Champions League are never easy, especially for a team that has zero experience in the competition. I see Girona finishing somewhere between 9th to 24th in the table, and then hopefully they are paired against an easier opponent in the playoffs so they can make it to the round of 16. But if Girona and their manager can pull off something incredible like they did in La Liga last season, finishing 3rd, it would be a massive win for Spanish football. So, there you have it. The road to the knockout is filled with challenges for our Spanish teams. Real Madrid and Barcelona have some mouth-watering fixtures, while Atletico Madrid and Girona need to be at their best to advance to the next round. So what are you expecting from Spanish teams in the Champions League this season? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, then slap a like and please subscribe to La Liga Vic. It'll help me out a lot, and I will see you in the next one. Hasta luego!